as requested in this video, I'm going to share the setup if you would like to connect your K1 Live sound card to a USB microphone as well as to connect your Android device using the USB-C port of your Android device to this K1 Live sound card. Without further ado, let's get started. And now, let me show you the things cables I will be needing at a setup. First of all, this is the K1 Live sound card. This is the Android device I will be using. What I will do is I'm going to do a sample recording so you can hear the audio output uh, connecting to this uh, K1 Live sound card. And as I mentioned, I will be showing you how to connect a USB microphone to this uh, K1 Live sound card. And this is what I will be using. So there you go. And this is the USB cord. Uh, that uh, comes with the, this uh, microphone. Okay, and uh, this iPad here will be the source of my background music. And this one here, I'll be using a TRS, the one that has two lines on both ends. And I'll be using one TRRS, the one that has three lines on both ends. Normally, this comes when you get to this uh, K1 Live sound card. I'll be using an earphone to uh, monitor the audio. I will be using a power bank or portable charger. And this two here, but I'm gonna show you which one has uh, the best audio output, whether you use this kind or this kind. Okay, and now I'm gonna start the connections. First, what I will do is I'm going to connect this USB microphone to K1 Live a sound card. So for that, I'm going to connect this one end to here. Okay, and now the other end, I'm going to connect it to this uh, power bank. Okay, so something like that. And as you notice, there is now a power on this uh, on this uh, USB uh, microphone. And now with this uh, TRS, so the one that has uh, two lines, what I will do is I am going to connect one end to here to the one that has a, a headphone port. So I'll connect one end there. And then the other end, I am going to connect I'm going to connect uh, to here, to the mic port of this K1 Live sound card. So I'll connect it to one from here. You just select either one of those. Okay, and from here, I'm going to connect my earphone to the one for monitor. Okay, actually, this one does not have a built-in microphone, so I could actually uh, connect this one to either monitor or headset. So I'm just going to connect it to the one for monitor. Next, I'm going to connect this uh, TRRS, the one that has three lines on both ends. And this is to connect to that device for recording or streaming. So from here, you just have to select a live one or two, it doesn't matter. So let's use live two. The other end, I'm going to connect to this USB-C adapter. So as you can see, this is from this is from Apple Store. Make sure you have the right adapter, otherwise uh, your audio output will not be as good as this one. Anyway, I'll show you this one. This one I bought from Amazon, and this one I bought from Apple Store. And this other end, simply connect to the USB-C port of your device. So again, there is no headphone port, only USB-C. There you go. And now to connect your background music, if the source of the background music has a Bluetooth like iPad, tablet, or or even laptop or another phone, uh, just uh, connect them wirelessly if you want uh, so that you can place your source of background music uh, anywhere you want. But if you want to connect it with a cable, then you connect that to uh, here. So a accompaniment and then to the headphone port of that uh, device. So again, we will be connecting this uh, iPad to here wirelessly using Bluetooth. To connect the source of your background music to the K1 Live sound card wirelessly is very simple. Just go to the settings and then go to Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on. And from here, there should be option here that says K1 Live sound card and tap it and wait until they are paired. So right now it shows already connected. So if you play your YouTube song or karaoke songs from here, it should be connected now to this K1 Live sound card. Now that I am all set, I'm going to start now recording from this phone here so that I can share to you also the audio output so what I did on this uh, on this phone is I simply opened the built-in camera of this phone by the way for reference this is a s20 Samsung Ultra uh, Android device okay so now that I turned it on I'm gonna start now my recording over here Okay, soundtrack testing one two one two three four there you go whatever you are hearing this is now the audio output using this uh, USB microphone. So as you notice, this kind of USB microphone does have a headphone port on it, and that's how we connected to this K1 Live sound card. 
Unfortunately, if your USB microphone do not have a headphone port on it, I do not know yet uh, up to this time what adapter you can use to be able to convert that to connect to your K1 Live sound card. Okay, and now my voice is still no effects uh, flat because I set the dry on this K1 Live sound card. And by the way, if you want to know all the features of this K1 Live sound card, I have made a video already on that, and I will be adding a link under that description below. As you noticed, I connected this USB microphone to this uh, power bank. Uh, if you don't connect it to a power bank, then there is no power on your USB microphone, then you cannot use it. So again, this is the use of the power bank on this uh, on this uh, setup. And as I showed you earlier, I connected this uh, source of background music to the K1 Live sound card wirelessly using Bluetooth. And now let's check how loud is this uh, background music. Okay, and to control the volume, you can control it from the source itself. So from here, you can control it, lower it, or turn it up. Or you can also control it from here, accompaniment. You can lower it or increase the volume. Okay, there you go. And now let me uh, give you a short recording a sample so that you can uh, check whatever is the audio output using this kind of setup. So again, this is a USB uh, microphone uh, connected to this K1 Live sound card through the headphone port of this uh, USB microphone. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to select maybe um, the anchor sound check testing one too. So maybe let's use this uh, this voice effect. Okay, there you go. So anyway, that should be the audio output if you are going to use this kind of setup. Again, uh, you should be able to select uh, different vocal modes or, or reverb presets on here. You can use MC if you would like or turn off the even mic. Or if you turn off the MC, then it goes to, to flat. And then if you want to control the echo from here, then feel free to do that. Again, if you want to know all the features of this K1 Live sound card, I've made a video on that already. And again, I'll be adding a link under the description below. Okay, and now what I'll do is I'm going to connect this other adapter there and I'm going to show you what is the audio output difference. So again, as you notice, using this USB-C adapter I bought from Apple Store, the audio output is perfect. Okay, so let me, let me uh, connect this other adapter now so you can see the audio difference. From here, I'm going to remove this adapter. Again, I bought this from Apple Store and I will connect this one. And by the way, as, as I said, this is from Amazon I bought. This is a headphone adapter and let's connect this one to here instead. Okay, there you go. And now let's try recording again so you can hear the audio output using this kind of adapter. Normally, this is the kind of, the, of adapter that you can buy uh, on a different store other than Apple Store. And please note, when you buy this uh, dongle, normally it tells you what what it is for so make sure you are buying the one that uh, compatible for your for your device because uh, sometimes it says if it says that is only for samsung s20 ultra and it's not compatible for samsung s10 plus then don't buy the other one for, for s10 buy the one that is compatible for your phone but again let me show you what is the difference using this kind of adapter compared to the adapter from the apple store okay Let's uh, do a sample recording again from here. Okay, I'm going to start recording now from here. And now, uh, whatever you are hearing, this is now the recorded audio from this device using this kind of adapter. So now you can tell the difference of using this kind of adapter I bought from Amazon compared to the adapter I bought from Apple Store. Okay, and let me uh, record a short uh, sample again. Let's say recording a song. Okay, maybe I'll select. Okay, I'll select even mine. Okay, so let's uh, play this uh, song over here. So pretty much all settings are the same. Okay, I'm going to pause this one now over here. 
Okay, there you go. So as you notice, that would be the audio output using this kind of adapter. And that is all I can share for today. I hope this video gives you an idea how to connect your Android devices through the USB-C port to connect to the K1 Live sound card. And I hope this gives you also an idea what is the audio difference using the adapter, USB-C adapter I bought from Amazon. You could buy this one elsewhere and the audio output could be the same. And comparing that audio output to the USB-C adapter that I bought from Apple Store. So as you notice, the audio output is very far from the adapter from the uh, Apple Store. Anyway, if you have no choice, you have no access to buy it from Apple Store, then that's going to be your audio output. So as you notice, it's using the black adapter that I showed you. The audio output it sounds like it's not stable. It goes up and down, up and down compared to the audio output using the, the white adapter, the one that I showed you, the adapter from Apple Store. The audio output is very good. Also, I hope this video gives you an idea how to connect your USB microphone to your K1 Live sound card through the headphone port of that USB microphone. As I said, unfortunately, up to this time, I do not know yet what adapter you can use if your USB microphone does not have a headphone port on it. Anyway, thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you're always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.